Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of al-Adahi, sacrifices, animals slaughtered on the day of Eid al-Adha. Chapter on the legal way of al-Udhiyah. Ibn Omar said, it is the Prophet's legal way and it is charitable deed. Narrated al bara may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, on the day of Eid al-Adha, the first thing we will do on this day of ours is to offer the Eid, Salah, prayer, and then return to slaughter the sacrifice. Whoever does so, he acted according to our Sunnah, legal way. And whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid, Salah, prayer, what he offered was just meat he presented to his family, and that will not be considered as Nusuk, sacrifice. On hearing that, Abu Barda bin Niyar got up for he had slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid Salah prayer and said, I have got a six-month-old kid. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Slaughter it as a sacrifice, but it will not be sufficient for anyone else as a sacrifice after you. Al-Bara added, The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice after the Eid Salah prayer, he slaughtered it at the right time and followed the legal way of the Muslims. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet peace be upon him said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid Salah, prayer, he just slaughtered it for himself, and whoever slaughtered it after the Eid Salah, prayer, he slaughtered it at the right time and followed the legal way of the Muslims. Chapter on The Distribution of the Animals for Sacrifice by the Imam Among the People Narrated Uqba bin Amir al-Juhani that the Prophet, peace be upon him, distributed among his companions some animals for sacrifice to be slaughtered on Eid al-Adha. Uqba's share was a jadha, a six-month-old goat. Uqba said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I get my share of jadha, a six-month-old kid. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Slaughter it as a sacrifice. Chapter on Sacrifices slaughtered on behalf of a traveler and women. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, that the Prophet, peace be upon him, entered upon her when she had her menses at Sarif before entering Mecca, and she was weeping, because she was afraid that she would not be able to perform the Hajj. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, What is wrong with you? Have you got your period? She said, Yes. He said, this is a thing Allah has decreed for all the daughters of Adam. So perform all the ceremonies of Hajj like the others, but do not perform the tawaf around the Kaaba. Aisha added, When we were at Mina, beef was brought to me, and I asked, What is this? They, the people, said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, has slaughtered some cows as sacrifices on behalf of his wives. Chapter on Meat is Desired on the Day of Nahr Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, On the day of Nahr, whoever has slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid Salah prayer should repeat it, slaughter another sacrifice. A man got up and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, this is a day on which meat is desired? He then mentioned his neighbors, etc., and added, I have a six-month-old kid which is to me better than the meat of two sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, allowed him to slaughter it as a sacrifice, but I do not know whether this permission was valid for other than that man or not. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then went towards two rams and slaughtered them, and then the people went towards some sheep and distributed them among themselves. Chapter on Whoever Said That Sacrifices Should Be Offered on the Day of Nahr Narrated Abu Bakr, May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Time has come back to its original state, which it had on the day Allah created the heavens and the earth. The year is of twelve months, four of which are sacred. Three of them are in succession, namely, Dhul Qadha, Dhul Hijjah, and Muharram. The fourth being, Rajab Mudar, which is between Jumada, Athani, and Sha'ban. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then asked, Which month is this? We said, Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him, know better. He kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the month of Dhul Hijjah? We said, Yes. He said, Which town is this? We said, 
Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him, know better. He kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the town of Mecca? We replied, Yes. He said, What day is today? We replied, Allah and his messenger, peace be upon him, know better. He kept silent so long that we thought that he would call it by a name other than its real name. He said, Isn't it the day of Nahr? We replied, Yes. He then said, Your blood properties and honor are as sacred to one another as this day of yours, in this town of yours, in this month of yours. You will meet your Lord, and he will ask you about your deeds. Beware, do not go astray after me by cutting the necks of one another. It is incumbent upon those who are present to convey this message to those who are absent, for some of those to whom it is conveyed may comprehend it better than some of those who have heard it directly. Muhammad, the sub-narrator, on mentioning this used to say, The Prophet, peace be upon him, then said, No doubt, haven't I conveyed Allah's message to you? Haven't I conveyed Allah's message to you? Chapter on Al-Adha and the slaughtering of sacrifices at the Musalla, the place of offering aid prayer. Narrated Nafi, Abdullah bin Umar used to slaughter his sacrifice at the slaughtering place, that is, the slaughtering place of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Ibn Umar said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to slaughter camels and sheep, etc., as sacrifices at Al Musalla. Chapter on The Prophet, peace be upon him, slaughtered two horned rams, which, it is mentioned, were fat ones. Abu Umama bin Sahl said, We used to fatten our sacrifices at al Madina, and the Muslims also used to fatten theirs. Narrated Anas bin Malik, May Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to offer two rams as sacrifices, and I also used to offer two rams. Narrated Anas, May Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, came towards two horned rams, having black and white colors, and slaughtered them with his own hands. Narrated Uqba bin Amir that the Prophet, peace be upon him, gave him some sheep to distribute among his companions to slaughter as sacrifices of Eid al-Adha. A kid was left, and he told the Prophet, peace be upon him, of that whereupon he said to him, Slaughter it as a sacrifice on your behalf. Chapter on the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, to Abu Burda. Slaughter a kid as a sacrifice of Eid al-Adha, but it will not be sufficient for anybody else after you. Narrated Al-Bara' bin Azib, may Allah be pleased with him, an uncle of mine called Abu Burda slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid prayer. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said to him, Your slaughtered sheep was just mutton, not a sacrifice. Abu Burda said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I have got a domestic kid. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Slaughter it as a sacrifice, but it will not be permissible for anybody other than you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, added, Whoever slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid prayer, he only slaughtered for himself, and whoever slaughtered it after the Eid Salah prayer, he offered his sacrifice properly and followed the legal ways of the Muslims. Narrated al bara Abu Burda slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid Salah prayer, whereupon the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to him, Slaughter another sacrifice instead of that. Abu Burda said, I have nothing except a jadha, kid. Shuba said, Perhaps Abu Burda also said that jadha, kid, was better than an old sheep in his opinion. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Never mind, slaughter it to make up for the other one, but it will not be sufficient for anyone else after you. Chapter on Whoever slaughtered his sacrifice with his own hands. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, slaughtered two rams, black and white in color, as sacrifices. And I saw him putting his foot on their sides and mentioning Allah's name and takbir, Allahu Akbar. Then he slaughtered them with his own hands. Chapter on Whoever Slaughtered the Sacrifices on Behalf of Others some man helped Ibn Umar in slaughtering his camel. Abu Musa ordered his daughters to slaughter their sacrifices with their own hands. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, 
Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, entered upon me at Sadaf while I was weeping, because I was afraid that I would not be able to perform the Hajj. He said, What is wrong with you? Have you got your period? I replied, Yes. He said, This is a thing Allah has decreed for all the daughters of Adam. So do what all the pilgrims do, but do not perform the tawaf around the Kaaba. Aisha added, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, slaughtered some cows as sacrifices on behalf of his wives. See Ahadith 294. Chapter on To slaughter the sacrifice after the Eid Salah, prayer. Narrated al bara may Allah be pleased with him, I heard the Prophet, peace be upon him, delivering a khutbah, and he said, on the day of Eid al-Adha, the first thing we will do on this day of ours is that we will offer the Eid prayer. Then we will return and slaughter our sacrifices. And whoever does so, then indeed he has followed our legal way. And whoever slaughtered his sacrifice before the Eid prayer, what he offered was just meat that he presented to his family, and that was not a sacrifice. Abu Burda got up and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid Salah prayer, and I have got a jadha, kid, which is better than an old sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Slaughter it to make up for that, but it will not be sufficient for anybody else after you. Chapter on Whoever slaughters his sacrifice before the Eid prayer should repeat it. Slaughter another sacrifice. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the Eid prayer should repeat it. Slaughter another one. A man said, This is the day on which meat is desired. Then he mentioned the needs of his neighbors for meat, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, seemed to accept his excuse. The man said, I have a jadha, which is to me better than two sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, allowed him to slaughter it as a sacrifice. But I do not know whether this permission was general for all Muslims or not. The Prophet, peace be upon him, then went towards two rams and slaughtered them, and the people went towards their sheep and slaughtered them. Narrated Junda bin Sufyan al Bajali. I witnessed the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the day of Nahr. He said, Whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before offering the Eid prayer should slaughter another sacrifice in its place, and whoever has not slaughtered their sacrifice should slaughter now. That is, after the Eid prayer. Narrated al bara One day, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, offered the Eid Salah prayer and said, Whoever offers our Salah prayer and faces our Qibla should not slaughter the sacrifice till he finishes the Eid prayer. Abu Burda bin Nayar got up and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I have already done it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, That is something you have done before its due time. Abu Burda said, I have a jadha, kid which is better than two old sheep, shall I slaughter it? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Yes, but it will not be sufficient for anyone after you. Chapter on To put one's foot on the side of the animal at the time of slaughtering. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to offer as sacrifices two horned rams, black and white in color, and used to put his foot on their sides and slaughter them with his own hands. Chapter on To Say Takbir, Allahu Akbar, while slaughtering a sacrifice. Narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, offered as sacrifices two horned rams, black and white in color. He slaughtered them with his own hands and mentioned Allah's name over them and said Takbir and put his foot on their sides. Chapter on If someone sends his hadith to be slaughtered, then nothing lawful is rendered unlawful for him. Narrated Masruq that he came to Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, and said to her, O mother of the believers, there is a man who sends a hadith to Kaaba and stays in his city and requests that his hadith camel be garlanded while he remains as a muhrim from that day till the people finish their ihram after completing all the ceremonies of Hajj. What do you say about it? Masruq added, I heard the clapping of her hands behind the curtain. She said, I used to twist the garlands for al hadi of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and he used to send his hadi to Kaaba, but he never used to regard as unlawful what was lawful for men to do with their wives till the people returned from Al-Hajj. Chapter on 
what may be eaten of the meat of sacrifices and what may be taken as journey food. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, during the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we used to take with us the meat of the sacrifices of Eid al-Adha to al Medina. The narrator often said, the meat of al-Hadi. Narrated Abu Sayyid al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him, that once he was not present at the time of Eid al-Adha, and when he came, some meat was presented to him. And the people said to him, this is the meat of our sacrifices. He said, take it away, I shall not taste it. In his narration, Abu Sayyid added, I got up and went to my brother, Abu Qatada, who was his maternal brother and was one of the warriors of the Battle of Badr, and mentioned that to him. He said, A new verdict was given in your absence, that is, meat of sacrifices was allowed to be stored and eaten later on. Narrated Salama bin al-Aqwa, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever has slaughtered a sacrifice should not keep anything of its meat after three days. When it was the next year, the people said, O Allah's Messenger, shall we do as we did last year? He said, Eat of it, and feed of it to others, and store of it. For in that year, the people were having a hard time, and I wanted you to help the needy. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, We used to salt some of the meat of sacrifice and present it to the Prophet, peace be upon him, at al Madina. Once he said, Do not eat of that meat for more than three days. That was not a final order, but that year he wanted us to feed of it to others. Allah knows better. Narrated Abu Ubaid, the free slave of Ibn Azar, that he witnessed the day of Eid al-Adha with Umar bin al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him. Umar offered the Eid prayer before the khutbah and then delivered the khutbah before the people, saying, O people! Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, has forbidden you to observe psalm, fast, on the first day of each of these two Eid, for one of them is the day of breaking your psalm, fast, and the other is the one on which you eat the meat of your sacrifices. Abu Ubaid said in continuation of our hadith number 5571, Then I witnessed the Eid with Uthman bin Affan, and that was on a Friday. He offered the Eid Salah prayer before the khutbah saying, O people, today you have two Eids, festivals, that is Friday and Eid together. So whoever of those who live at Al-Awali, suburbs, would like to wait for the Juma prayer, he may wait, and whoever would like to return home is granted my permission to do so. Then I witnessed the Eid with Ali bin Abi Talib. And he too offered the Eid prayer before the khutbah and then delivered the khutbah before the people and said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, has forbidden you to eat the meat of your sacrifices for more than three days. Narrated Salim Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Eat of the meat of sacrifices of Eid al-Adha for three days. When Abdullah departed from Mina, he used to eat bread with oil, lest he should eat of the meat of Hadi, which is regarded as unlawful after the three days of Eid. 